what side back is right for you. We're going to do something a little bit different today. Since I have the entire line of the Cybex 2011, I'm going to put them side by side to show you what the differences are and which one's right for you. Here is the high end. It's the Callisto. It retails for $349. This is the mid-range. This is the Onyx. It retails for $229. And this is the economy version, the Ruby, and it retails for $149. Now with Callisto, it has a head hugger and a padded five-point harness, which the other two do not. The Callisto and the Onyx both have that easy-to-do adjusting harness adjuster in the front, which the Ruby does not. These both, the Callisto and the Onyx, are both structured seats with deep reclines in four positions. The Ruby has a sling seat with one position recline, which is barely there. The Callisto and the Onyx, they both have adjustable leg rests. The Ruby does not. The Callisto is the only one with a padded bumper bar. The Onyx and the Ruby both do not have bumper bars. Um, None of the strollers come with cup holders, but they all have um, locations that you can add the sold separately cup holder. Now, they all have the super canopy. All the canopies are the same size. The Callisto doesn't have a peekaboo window. The Onyx does. But the Ruby has the side windows on the side. They all open up to have the third panel to make it even larger. And that's the third panel. And they all fold down all the way in front of the child. So all the canopies are very, very similar. The canopies on all three strollers also slide up and down the frame. Now the handlebars. The Callisto has the one-piece continuous handlebar that's going to be the best for one-handed maneuverability. Plus, it is the only one that is adjustable. It gives you that extra inch and a quarter of height, so this is better for taller parents. The other two have the separate handlebars. These aren't going to be as good for one-handed maneuverability because of the placement. But these foam handlebars are removable and replaceable if one becomes damaged. And they are taller, being 41 inches from ground to where you place your hands. Now all the baskets are about the same size. The Callisto does have the canvas basket while the other two have mesh baskets. The Onyx and the Ruby both have shoulder straps while the Callisto does not. So these are great for on the go travel. The Onyx and the Callisto both also have pockets on the back of their canopies to store mom essentials and baby essentials. The Ruby does not. Now the wheels. All three strollers roll on a different size wheel. The Callisto rolls on six and a half inches. The Onyx is five and a half inches, with the Ruby being four and a half inches. So that's going to affect your maneuverability. They all lock, have locking front wheels to tackle a bit all terrain, and they all have that same footrest um, strap for your children to set their feet on. All three strollers have rear suspension, but the Callisto has a more luxury suspension that is on all four wheels. The other difference is the Callisto has that one touch um, button that allows it to lock the front wheels when you have to step on the other ones. All three strollers have a weight capacity of 55 pounds, but they are different weights. The Callisto is the heaviest, being at 19 pounds. Onyx comes in at 17 pounds, and the Ruby is the lightest at 13 pounds. All three strollers can be a travel system with car seat adapters. The, the Callisto and the Onyx both have car, a car seat adapter that is sold separately for specifically for the Cybex in a car seat. It's really easy to snap right in. They all three have a universal car seat adapter that's sold separately, which are the straps. Now, if you're going to use one of the Cybex as a full-time travel system, we would suggest the Onyx or the Callisto. We just think they're a little bit sturdy to handle all the weight of an Inva car seat. Now, if you're going for the most luxurious stroller, the Callisto actually is compatible with the Cybex carry cot, turning it into a pram. The other two do not take a carry cot. If I'm ranking them in maneuverability, obviously the Callisto has larger wheels and a better suspension system, so it is going to maneuver the easiest, followed by the Onyx and then the Ruby because it is the more scaled down version. And this was the comparison of the Cybex 2011 stroller line by Holly Schultz of babygizmo.com. What Cybex is right for you? For even more news, product reviews, 
videos, and giveaways, and to find the best prices, go to babygizmo.com or visit our blog at ratedbymom.com.